In this video, I'll show you how to create an active campaign webinar automation to improve show up and conversion rates on your next webinar. I'm Jason, growth specialist at Wildmail, where we help make active campaign even better for your based businesses. Let's check it out. So first, this is going to be for live webinars with a set date. Uh, at the end, I'll give a quick overview of how you can set this up for evergreen webinars and get super, super uh, personalized with your emails, your automations, etc. But for this one, we're going to do it for a live webinar set date. And why do we need one in the first place, right? If we're running a webinar, we're getting our traffic in, we're getting people to sign up. Awesome. Uh, what, what do we? What else do we need a webinar automation for? What else needs to be done? Well, first, you want to increase your show up rates. You want to make uh, the most of the time you have before the webinar, maybe that's uh, framing, maybe that's you know just simple reminders, uh, maybe that is giving them some homework before they get onto the webinar. But the point of it is uh, to be in contact with the people who registered, reminding them so they remember to show up where you're uh, typically going to make an offer on that webinar. The more people that you get into the webinar, if we're thinking of this just in terms of numbers, the more people in there, even with the, the same conversion rate that you've you know been able to achieve, uh, if you have that number in your head, more people in there, same conversion rate, more sales, right? More conversions. So uh, increase show up rates and then increase conversions at the end. And that's because we're also going to send out uh, a you know a, a nurture sequence, a sales sequence after the webinar. So we've got the the emails leading up, reminding them. We get everyone into the webinar. You crush it with your webinar, and then you're going to uh, follow up afterwards for those who haven't bought on the webinar. Okay, uh, and not sending them yet. It's essentially leaving money on the table. So now this is how to set up a webinar automation fast in Active Campaign. We're going to go to automations, create an automation, and then we're going to use recipes. If you're not sure what Active Campaign recipes are, we've got this video here that walks through in greater detail, but essentially they are templates that will get you up and running fast with specific use cases in Active Campaign. So I'm going to jump right into Active Campaign. I'm going to go to automations. In the top right, I'm going to create an automation and I'm going to search webinar. Let's see, you have a reminder series. This covers the beginning. You have a follow-up series. Okay, this will follow up with those who haven't purchased after the webinar. But if you scroll down a bit more, you've got the uh, reminder drip and post-webinar follow-up. So if we select that and hit continue, And now here is why we're able to do it so fast. We've got the automation setup wizard here that's gonna walk us through step-by-step step, uh, what we need to do to get this automation up and running. So if I hit get started, I'm gonna go through these, um, these different steps and the instructions. First, you're gonna choose the form that you're using to register uh, attendees for your webinar. Now, I'm assuming you're probably using some other software uh, some people use the form in Active Campaign, and then they use the integration with Zapier, et cetera, to then generate an attendee. Uh, but oftentimes you're using a different platform and then generating the contact in Active Campaign. So as it says here, if you track this in a different way, like subscribing to a, a list or a tag being added, which is what we would use, then feel free to adjust the trigger accordingly. Okay, so if you're not using a form, we can hit next. And you can always go back after you go through all these different steps and adjust that to uh, when a specific tag is added. And that's what we would recommend. Now, this is the first email. There's no time delay. You're saying, you know, thanks for signing up. You can adjust the messaging for that and hit next. And again, you can't see it fully in the background, but this is just walking you through each of the action blocks back here uh, in the automations. Each of these gray, uh, action steps are the send an email, the yellow are gold, which will allow you to pull down uh, the contacts who register after a reminder. So they're not going to receive you know, the, the um, seven day reminder. If they register for the webinar on you know, five days beforehand, we don't want them to receive the seven day reminder. So we're going to pull them down to one of those goals. So they receive the appropriate messaging, uh, appropriate emails leading up to the webinar. <laughs> Okay, so you can see this here, jump to this action when the following conditions are met. This goal waits until it is seven days or less until the webinar, and it's, it's gonna hold contacts there like a wait step uh, until those conditions are met. And to do that, you're gonna fill in a webinar date field here, and this should have the date of the webinar that uh, you're, you're hosting. 
Again, this is for a set date webinar. Uh, if you don't have the custom field, in order to do that, you can jump into contacts, open up the nav bar, go into fields, add field, and it would be something like webinar, date time. If you have a, a webinar group of custom fields for your contacts, go ahead and select it, and then make sure you select the uh, date field type. Okay, and just hit add. So back here, one other thing to note, if you're adjusting the uh, time before the webinar that this email is sent, it's a bit confusing, uh, in my opinion, the way that ActiveCampaign words it, but when it says webinar date is on or before current date plus seven, uh, the plus is back. <laughs> the plus is seven days before. So plus is before, uh, minus is going to be after. It's a bit confusing, but if you keep that in mind, uh, you'll be able to adjust the uh, date for this. Okay, we're gonna hit next. This is the email reminder that the webinar is in a week. So you can add relevant links, get them you know, fired up for your webinar, maybe assign homework, uh, whatever it is that you do to get them engaged uh, and make sure that they are ready building up to the webinar. Okay, they're staying engaged uh, and they're looking forward to attending. We'll hit next. This goal is gonna wait until one day beforehand. And again, hold the contacts like a wait step. So we're gonna choose the webinar date is on or before current date plus one and hit next. And this email is the, uh, your webinar is tomorrow reminder. Okay, so you can add the uh, link to the event in this email, get them to you know add it to their calendar if they haven't already, any last minute uh, information that they need, any incentives to get them to show up, it's tomorrow. So we'll hit next. And then finally, you've got the day of uh, reminder. So we want webinar date is current date exactly. And it's saying if you want the email to go out around a certain time, you could set a specific time for the condition in the date and time section, which will be in the uh, goal module itself. Uh, the thing is with active campaign, when it's, when, when you're choosing an hour to send out an email, uh, for example, if I want to send it at 12, you know, 12 PM uh, noon, it's actually going to send out over time between 12 and 1 PM. It's not all going to go exactly at 12. Um, it's not as precise. Uh, active campaign does that for a few reasons to protect the, the servers and the domain. Um, but just keep that in mind. It's not uh, super precise in terms of sending out to the minute, uh, but you can pick a, a general time that it can go out. Uh, and we're going to, again, achieve this by using the date-based custom field that has the date of the webinar and hit next. And here is the actual email itself that would include a link directly to the webinar, instructions, uh, if they have any issues, who do, you know, contact for support to get into the webinar and hit next. Awesome. So now they've attended the webinar. You want to thank them for attending. Uh, let them know about the follow-up series that they're going to receive. You can mention, you know, how to get a recording, further content. Uh, this could also be a, the start of a sales sequence if you offered something on the webinar or uh, additional resources for them. So we'll hit next. And it's the first follow-up email. You can thank them again, provide a recording of the webinar in it. These are just suggestions from Active Campaign. Uh, a follow-up email with links to other resources that your company has produced, articles from other thought leaders backing up what you spoke about in the webinar. So continuing to, to educate them on whatever topic you covered. All right, uh, other upcoming events, webinars, and including links for signing up to those in this email. I'll hit next. So I'm gonna just quickly review these here. Uh, we've got today's the webinar right here, and this is the goal that we went over. Wait in, until conditions are met. And you can see here current time in America, Chicago is 7 p.m. So what you wanna do is adjust that for your time zone and the time of the webinar. Make sure that it's set for after the webinar has ended. And then you'll send an email, thank you for attending. Again, wait until conditions are met. So this will wait until the next morning, 8 a.m. Adjust this for your time zone, sending the first follow-up email. And then if you have a different cadence that you send out your uh, your emails, you can go ahead and adjust these wait blocks, but um, essentially you'd have these all, you know, already set up, already built out to go out two days and four days later, you would just need to jump in quickly if you were in a rush uh, and create the uh, copy for these emails. 
feel free to adjust this weight step to what makes sense for your business. Um, and that goes for each of the weight steps. Okay. And the alternative again to this is a sales sequence. And if you're going to do a, a sales sequence, uh, you may want to, you know, add an additional uh, condition in conditions and workflow. If else tag exists and it would be one of your purchase tags. So we'll just say, you know, they purchased the coaching program that you talked about on your webinar. And we're going to move all these to the no and hit OK. And if yes, we can just end this automation. All right, this would check to see if they've already purchased on the webinar. And then you can also add down here a goal and say, you know, purchase VIP coaching. Click to set your conditions. Tag exists and we'll say purchase VIP coaching program, hit save. Below contacts position and continue anyways, we'll hit save. And then add the end this automation at the end. And now whenever someone has that tag, they'll just get pulled all the way down uh, there shouldn't be another way that they would receive it before the webinar, because what you're selling is on this live webinar. Just keep that in mind. Otherwise, you know, at any point that that tag is added to them up here, they can get pulled all the way down uh, to the end of the automation. But the idea for this is uh, to pull them down and skip these additional sales emails. If, the, if you're running a sales sequence, uh, pull them down to the bottom as soon as they get the tag that they've purchased whatever you were offering on the webinar. So we're not, you know, hitting uh, hitting them up with emails about something that they've already purchased. So that is how to set up your uh, webinar uh, reminder drip and then your post -web webinar follow up. Uh, and I mentioned at the end, uh, I'd share a quick bonus integrating with your webinar platform. So there are multiple webinar platforms. I'm not going to go into uh, how to create it, but I want to let you know that if you're using something like easy webinar, ever webinar, webinar jam, there are settings that will allow you to really personalize uh, your messaging to each uh, contact based on whether or not they attended, et cetera. So I'm just going to show you using easy webinar, what's possible uh, in their documentation. You'll see here, this is what it'll look like inside Easy Webinar. You can select your autoresponder integration and you would select Active Campaign. Then you'd be able to select the contact list inside Active Campaign. We recommend only using one main list and then segmenting by tags, uh, which you'll typically be able to do with the integration. So you can see this here some autoresponders like Active Campaign, there we are, offer tagging abilities like applying the tag for everybody who registered, everybody who showed up those that watched it all the way through, those that did not come at all, those that left early, those that uh, chose to watch the replay, those that asked a question. Um, and in some of the platforms, they'll even say whether or not you know they, they left early. Um, you, you'll be able to set that uh, so that you know whether or not they missed your pitch or not in the webinar. Okay, so you'll know exactly how to tailor your messaging based on those tags and an active campaign. Once you've tagged them with these different tags here that you can see, registered, came to, watched in full, did not come, left early, watch replay, ask questions, saw offer, but did not click. There's that one there. Uh, if they did see the offer, but they, they didn't click through, uh, you'll be able to add that to the contact in active campaign. And then using conditional content, which I can show you here in your emails, I would go into uh, this one here. And using conditions, you could first, you know, check for uh, if else tag exists. And you want to check for your tag to see whether or not they attended, whether or not they stayed, etc. First, I would check to see if they attended or not, because we don't want to say thank you for attending if we know that they didn't. So there's your first step of personalization. Uh, you can adjust the subject line. And then in the copy, if I go into edit. You'll see here, this is nice that they uh, get you started with all of the copy as well. So you can go ahead and really get this set up quickly. Uh, but if I add this here, an additional block, and I can make this conditional, and I can say, 
tag exists. And let's just say webinar attended, just as an example, and say, OK. We've got that one for thanks for your time today. So this, this text block here in the email will show if the tag webinar attended exists, which we'll be able to add directly from our uh, integration. Or this one here, we can make conditional and say, again, tag exists. Webinar left early. And now we can adjust our copy for someone who uh, we know showed up, but they left early. So we can you can have some fun with that. Um, the personalization goes a long way towards more conversions, right? Using the, the personalization to uh, provide value, not just not just because it's there, but uh, if they missed the webinar, give them some more information, give them the replay, et cetera. If they showed up on the webinar, you can reference things that they saw uh, and your copy will, will be a bit different. Maybe you don't pitch, right? Maybe if this is a, a follow-up sequence, maybe you pitch to someone who has seen the full webinar and they saw the pitch, but they have some questions you offer to, to uh, you know, address those objections, et cetera. Um, you're not going to speak the same way to someone who hasn't even seen your webinar and has no idea what you know, what your offer is or what you're talking about. So uh, that is one way that you can be, you know, using uh, the direct integrations with Easy Webinar, uh, Webinar Jam, et cetera. And if you have any questions about uh, the setup that I showed you for your live webinar reminders and follow up, uh, or if you have any questions about setting that up with your webinar platforms, so you can send hyper personalized uh, email follow ups, just drop them in the comments below. We'd be happy to help you out with that.